Hey, what's up guys? WH6AV here. Uh, name's Jesse, Juliet Echo, Sierra Sierra Echo. And I'm just doing a uh, video demonstration of how to uh, update the firmware on your MD2017 radio and also to uh, upload the user's database. So basically what you want to do is go to the um, Facebook group, Grandma Used to Talk Group 3148, and in the file section you will see I've uploaded this file here, which has uh, been uploaded um, nine hours ago. Uh, the file name of 2017 So just click on that, and then uh, you'll be prompted to uh, download. So just click on download. Uh, once it's downloaded, uh, you just uh, go back to 3148 and there's one more one more you need to download which is this pin pulse it's the current users.csv file so it's uh, downloaded all right so let's go to the uh, uh, let's see download folder What you want to do is uh, extract this into your uh, folder of your choice, but by default, I have it extracted to the 2017 folder 2017 Open that up, and you got your MD2017 100,000 contacts folder. Open that up. Uh, you can skip reading the uh, operation document. These uh, files are here. Uh, that's for the firmware to be uploaded to your radio with the firmware download uh, with the upgrade downloader application. So you're going to install this first. It's going to ask if you want to install it. Uh, basically, you're just going to say yes. I've already installed it on mines. So the application is uh, right here. It's created a shortcut on the desktop. Just double click on upgrade download. So what you can actually do is if you're on Windows 10, right click on it and uh, run it as administrator. Just say yes. All right, so we got the uh, application running. What you want to do is go to the user program section, click on open file upgrade. What you want to do is choose the uh, version 3.33.bin file for the TYT 2017. You want to double click on this and it'll just populate this field right here. So uh, it's there. Make sure your radio is hooked up with the Terra cable for your MD 2017 to your radio and to the computer. Okay. Put your radio into DFU mode. What you want to do is press the push the talk button and the red button on the top or orange button at the same time. You want to turn the radio on. Okay. Turn the radio on. The LED should be blinking red and green. Once that's done, you click on download file or for upgrade. USB open failed because uh, the radio is not hooked up. So make sure your radio is hooked up. Uh, in my case, uh, my radio has already been upgraded. So I won't need to do it. But anyhow, uh, once it's completed, uh, it will pop up with a window and tell you it's uh, completed the uh, upgrade. Just click on OK and then you can uh, close out of this window. Your uh, radio should have the uh, version 3.33 firmware now. Uh, what you want to do is uh, make sure your CPS uh, software for your 2017 radio is uh, not installed. If it is installed on a previous version or on a 1.17, uh, it's going to prompt you to uninstall. So let's just... Uh, Go through. I've already installed it, so I'll just go ahead and cancel out of here. I'll bring up the uh, CPS. So it's going to default 
load into the root directory, TYT, CPS 2017 version 1.16. We want to start up with the CPS DMR software application. Do not do anything in this window other than clicking on the program and write contacts. Once again, do not do anything in this window other than clicking on program and write contacts. This window pops up. What you want to do is click on import. You want to click on the file that you downloaded. So in my case, uh, it was 10.48 p.m. was the last one and I just downloaded. So well, you just say that it's going to read through. And what happens is that it pops up with the window, import successful. Okay, with your radio on, turned on normally, not in DFU mode. With the radio on, what you want to do is click on Write. What it'll do is write the user's database to your radio. So just click on Write. And then when it's done, a window will pop up and telling you it's completed. Uh, you can just uh, close out the CPS 2017 window application and then all you have to do is go to your radio and all you need to do is go to menu and uh, scroll to utilities and then radio settings and what you want to do is scroll up to where you have contacts CSV which is option 13 and option 13 all you have to do is make sure turn on is selected and confirmed and your radio is good to go all right uh, oh one thing to uh, remind you folks you must have Microsoft Excel application on your computer if not, when you're uh, importing the uh, user's CSV file, it will give you an error. It gives you an error because you don't have Microsoft in sale. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy. And hopefully this video has actually explained to you how to to your user's CSV and also the uh, firmware upgrade to version 3.33 for your TYT 2017 radios. So uh, just go to Facebook group, Grandmeister Talk Group 3148 and the uh, posting is on there. Uh, you can also search uh, another website uh, that has uh, full details, but uh, I'm just doing the video demonstration how to do it. Okay, have fun guys. Uh, it should be real plain and simple and easy to understand. If you guys don't, oh well. Uh, go figure. Have fun. 7-3. Aloha. Good night. W86AB signing off.